Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you calculate shipping prices based on the distance. The name of the plugin is Calculate Prices Based on Distance for WooCommerce. This plugin has free as well as premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro version of the plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. Using this plugin, you can easily automate WooCommerce shipping costs by calculating delivery prices based on real-world driving distance using the Google Maps API key. So we are going to use Google Maps to calculate the distance. The pro version of the plugin will cost you $49.99 per year for a single website. If you want to buy the pro version of the plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. So we are going to start with the free plugin and I'll show you how you can calculate the shipping price based on the distance. You can download the free version of the plugin from here or you can go to WordPress dashboard and install the plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website and I'm going to install the free version of the plugin. So let's go to dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here search for Calculate prices based on distance. This is the name of the plugin. If you do not find this plugin, you can simply go to the website and download the plugin from here. So I'm going to install it now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel under WooCommerce, you will see the option here WC Distance Calculator. We are on the dashboard of this plugin. The first option is Date Picker. If you want to hide date picker from the checkout page, you can simply hide it. Below that, you will see option required. This feature enables you to control the date picker to be mandatory or not mandatory. Right, let me show you how does this look on the actual page. So let's go to the website. And I'm going to add product in the cart. I have added some products in the cart. Uh, let's go to checkout. On the checkout page, you will see the date picker. This is the delivery date. You can control the date and time from here. This is the date and this is the delivery time. So you can control the delivery date and time from here. And below that, you will see billing address option and calculate delivery fee. All right, let's go back to dashboard. If you want to disable the days from the date picker, you can disable it. For example, you're not going to deliver the product on Saturday or Sunday. You can simply check these options and these days will be disabled from the date picker. You can also disable the date slots. So I'm going to save the changes. Next option is time picker. Again, if you do not want the time picker to be shown, you can hide it. You can make it mandatory. And from here, you can change the time settings. This is the start time and this is the end time. Let's say I'm going to deliver from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. All right, so it will be 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And you can change the format to 24 hours or 12 hours. Time interval is set to 15 minutes. You can also disable the time slots. Let's click on save, click OK. Now the next option is distance calculator. Here you need to enter the Google Maps API key and using the Google Maps API key, we are going to calculate the distance. If you don't know how to get the API key, if you don't know how to get the API key, you can follow this article and get the Google Maps API key. Here you will see the instructions to get the Google Maps API key. I'm logged into Google console and I have already created Google Maps API key. So I'm going to use the Google Maps API key. Let's go back to dashboard. This is my API key. I have it already added. And if you click on check status and it will show the status whether it is enabled or not. For geocoding API is enabled. Distance matrix API is enabled. Places API is enabled and directions API is also enabled. So all the required options are enabled. That means the API key is working. Below that we have distance unit. Currently it is set to kilometer. You can change it to miles. And below that we have cost per kilometer. For example, if you want to charge $1 for one kilometer, you can change it to one. If you want to charge $1 for 10 kilometers, you can simply make it 0.1. That means $1 for 10 kilometers. So this is what I'm going to charge $1 for 10 kilometers. Below that you will see the option fixed price. This option is available for the premium version only. 
So if you want to set up a fixed price, you will need to go for the pro version of the plugin. Here you can set fixed prices like for 0 to 10 kilometers, cost will be $1, make it fixed price. Add another condition, let's say 10 kilometers to 30 kilometers, it will be $2, make it fixed price. Then we have 30 kilometers to 50 kilometers, let's make it $5 and make it fixed price. This is not going to work because we are working on the free version. I just want to show you how does this work, right? You need to check this option and it will set up fixed pricing. Then we have restrict user by kilometer. If you do not want any customer outside the range, you can restrict the user by kilometer. Let's say I do not want any customer beyond 50 kilometers. So I can set up 50 kilometers and this feature allows you to display a message to the customer. Sorry, we do not deliver more than 50 kilometers. So this is how it works. This one is required and for that you will need pro version of the plugin. And here you can set up your store address. I'm going to set up one address from Canada. You can enter your business address here and this address will be used to calculate the distance. Below that we have delivery options, delivery or store pickup. Both the options are selected and I'm going to save the settings. All right. Now let's go back to checkout and I'm going to refresh this page because we have changed the address. Now we are on the checkout page and you will see we have delivery charges currently set to zero. And here you will see your business address. So this is going to be your business address and it will be used to calculate the distance. Let's say I want to deliver to one of the locations here. Let's say this one. And I'm going to use this location. I'm going to enter it here. And click on calculate delivery fee. It says delivery fee added $9.36. So you will see cost per kilometer is 0.1 and total distance is 93.61 kilometer. This is what I have selected. Let's go back. I'm going to change the distance. Let's refresh it. Let's try another address. Let's select one of the closest address here, 401. All right, so I'm going to select this one and let's enter the address here. And click on calculate. And the total delivery fee added is 0 0.12 because the distance is only 1.19 kilometer. Let's change this pricing here. Let's go back to distance calculator and I'm going to change it to, let's say $0.5 per kilometer. Click on save. Let's try another address here. All right, I'm going to use this one. Let's enter the address here and calculate delivery fee. Now you will see it is $0.98. It is less than two kilometers and you will see the cost per kilometer is 0 0.5 dollar and if i go to total calculation you will see that the delivery charges are also added automatically so this is how it works based on the distance it is going to calculate the shipping charges now i do have the pro version of this plugin installed on another wordpress website so Let's go to other WordPress website. You can buy the pro version of the plugin at $49.99 per year. When you buy the plugin, you will create an account on this website and you will be able to download the pro version of the plugin. And you will also get license key, which you will need to enter. So if I go to dashboard, you will see an option here, activate license. You need to enter the license key and activate the license. So all the other settings will remain same. The date picker, you can enable or disable the date picker. Time picker, you can also enable or disable the time picker. If I go to distance calculator, you will see that we have access to all the pro features. Here I have set up a fixed price for 0 to 10 kilometers, it is going to be $1. And for 10 to 30 kilometers, it is going to be $10. And that is going to be a fixed price. And for 30 to 100 kilometers, it is going to be $2. It is not a fixed one. And restrict user by kilometer is set to 500 kilometers and the required option is enabled. Right now let's go to the website here and I'm going to add a product into the cart. On the checkout page you will see the message 
the delivery cost calculation 0 to 10 kilometer it is going to be dollar one per kilometer for 10 to 30 kilometer flat ten dollars and for 30 to 100 kilometers it is going to be dollar two per kilometer so we have that message on the checkout page All right so if i go down here we have the location and i'm going to set select one of the addresses from the map itself let's try this one calculate all right 2.52 because the distance is only 2.52 kilometers and it is charging one dollar per kilometer now let's increase the distance let's refresh it let's try another address Now here you can see that we have the address which is 16 kilometers long from the store and the total delivery charges are $20 because we have set the condition here for 10 to 30 kilometers it is going to be flat $10. So for the first 10 kilometers it has added $10 and for the next 20 kilometers it has added $10. So the flat delivery charges are $20. So using the pro version of the plugin, you can set up different pricing rules. You can set up a fixed price for certain kilometers and you can also restrict the user by kilometers. So if you are running a WooCommerce store and if you want to calculate the shipping prices based on the distance, you can try using the free version of the plugin. If you want more features, you can go for the pro version of the plugin. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.